what it is what's up got your roster in the cut uh, back on the video um so this is necessary because there's not really an effective way to preview the roster and the game itself so in the spirit of showing off this frankenstein that i created the asms dragons uh roster i decided that what i would do is do the team builder part and then just show some footage from the games that are played out. Uh, to this point, I've done about, I think, five games or so in Dynasty. Um, one thing that I did not keep in mind was the fact that with the roster, uh, I, didn't th I thought they'd all be like freshmen coming out. Some of them are like seniors. So we got people that I've made that are already about to graduate. So uh, the ASMS inclusion itself may be uh, reduced pretty soon here. but. We're gonna start from the jump here, try to not take too much time here. So these are basically how you create the brand. Uh, you have a primary logo, which I went with. All of these are probably trademarked, by the way. Uh, if the powers that be at ASMS want to sue me over this roster, that 11 people, including myself, have downloaded, of all means, uh, I'm sure that the laundry list of very atrocious things that have been done with the ASMS name. I'm sure that this is not the worst, but um, so the primary is this. You're gonna see it's in the middle of the field. Uh, secondary, the ASMS. Uh, I got that off of online somewhere. I don't know where to find that from, but that's the secondary. And then I went with. It's actually pretty cool that you can like just do a color picker from the tool uh, from the logo. So I just went with these. Actually, pretty good colors. I feel like my usage of those colors uh, is putrid, but you know. I want Under Armour because that's like the most ass of the three names you could brand you could pick. And um, I felt like ASMS would go cheap and uh, ass. So I went with Under Armour. Um, so we go to the nameplates. I went for like comedic stylings here. So like you got the nameplates, black to green, kind of outline or border to the names, to the letters. I thought it'd be ugly as hell, so I went with that. And you got these kind of ironic, like look at that zero. Look at that zero. That is that is ASMS if I've ever seen it. So after that, we look at the um, the cool info here. Team name ASMS, obviously dragons. Now for the this, I'm not even gonna give the sauce here on where this comes from the Chick Fil A, but that's a very befitting, I think, uh, abbreviation. We'll just say that. So you could pick whatever city you want. I put the Mobile. Looks like it makes sense. You know, Mobile, a little bit more competition. You know, Spring Hill football, okay. Um, you know, South Alabama football, okay. But you need, you need ASMS football, too. And here, you know, this is what the logo is at. So that's pretty much the, the majority of what this goes into. The uniforms where I think I had probably the most fun working in. Uh, I'm not going to go through every part of what led to this, but Here's the preview, and keep in mind, like, almost all of this is customizable. The cup, the face mask, the little piece right here, even this design, the helmet itself, the logo, or decal, I guess you want to call it, and then this piece back here. Almost all of this is customizable, and I think with the helmet, I did a pretty decent job, all this considered. Like, I still try to be gaudy and ugly, but, like, I think it looks pretty sound for the most part you know the date the decal is definitely uh, a choice i would say but i just think some shit like that like really if you did the the decal with with the actual transparent background i think it wouldn't be that bad but just having it with the, it's like the png like border <laughs> it's not it's not transparent that one was not transparent the uh, asms one was but this one was not and I just try to keep it not too ugly. I try to keep it somewhat simple, but it's meant to be a little bit comedic as well. So with this one, you know, I kind of take civil liberties of points here. I take the double stripe here, um, the format, the number. Uh, let me see if I can find that. Uh, yeah, so I went again with a pretty uh, kind of, I feel like it's very like, if you went to like a blockbuster in like the late 90s, early 2000s, like you'd see like some font like that in, in one of these movies. So I went with that. Uh, I went blue as the primary here uh, for the home. 
I don't remember if teams typically go color or white for home versus away. So I just said fuck it and just went where I wanted to do. So that's that. And uh, the gold is not featured too heavily here. However, for the hands, I thought this actually wasn't that ugly. Like, I don't know if I'm blind. I could be. I could be blind. I will say, like, the, the stripe here, which you can also customize. I think I went with. I'm trying not to edit anything just in case. I don't want to mess anything up. Uh, I think I went with this one right here. And actually, I think it would have been probably this one. Either this one, this one. Um, but either way, so the gold felt like a pretty. I didn't want to do all blue, like all blue, like color rush type scheme. So I wanted to try to shake it up a little bit. And I use white pretty often. I feel like you usually use white for everything. But yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I thought gold wasn't a bad option, you know. There you go for the cleats. You can't change the cleat colors inside of the team builder. You can't edit it in the game if you want to. I just kind of left it alone because there's a lot to kind of deal with. But I did like the blues and kind of match the jerseys and like the green. So it's not really fun. I think gold would have been like aesthetically better. But again, I kind of went for gaudy at points of time here. So this is the away. Kind of went for like a Notre Dame type uh, helmet. Actually, like pretty much virtually just like Notre Dame's. Uh, instead, I threw blue in there and then I threw a black face mask, which I don't know. I think it's the only black that I really have. At all, really. Um, we like I said, we did white again, a little bit of he he, like me having a little bit of funny. The, the, these numbers are, I believe, they're chrome. Is that correct? Uh, chrome. So I did chrome numbers, and then I made the spacing, which you could also control. Shout out to EA for how much customization kind of get over all this stuff. But uh, <laughs> I made the numbers like basically overlap. And then I did a little, I thought it was cool, do a little green outline and then make the logo green. Again, uh, sharking the hell out of Notre Dame style, but, you know, it is what it is. And I wanted to do it the way because of how, like, I think overwhelming the homes are. I wanted to make the ways pretty, like, simple. So, as you'll see here, like, I mean, virtually just white with the, um, the green, which is an accent. I make the green, the logo. And then here, I do the gold so I can have some of the gold on here to match with the helmet. I do the blue because there's not a lot of blue outside the numbers with this this combination. So from there, we go to stadiums. Uh, you know, you have all the options in the world. I, I want to do realistic, though. Like, you know, Tennessee. Oh, shit. Tennessee does like 100,000, right? Like 100,000 strong, you know. Tennessee number is 100,000. That didn't feel realistic. So I went with South, which... If I could imagine a South game, I've never been to a South Alabama football game. This is how I would imagine to be open, uh, not a lot of people. I mean, 25,000 is definitely low end. So we shark their style, uh, our in city rivals, kind of like uh, UCLA versus USC. This is what we got. We got South Alabama against ASMS, which I feel like is apropos in a lot of ways. Um, I kind of vary between just like a vomit of colors and something that felt realistic with the field so i'm not going to go through everything here but this is kind of what i ended up with uh the one thing i do kind of want to point out here if i can so the logos here so the midfield i did the asms one which i thought was transparent but i guess it's not so we have a border here of uh this poor logo customization i guess um and then we can do custom layers so what i wanted to do is do an, an alpha 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 which Alludes back to the AAA abbreviation. I want to do one in both end zones. And as you can kind of see, uh, here, let, me just, let me just zoom in here. Click. No, okay. Um, holy shit. It'll let me zoom in, but I can't move the zoom. Okay, whatever. But basically, it's like almost perfect. Like it actually is transparent. I just can't do it in both. I did, I did put this here, but unfortunately, it won't let me do. I don't know. There's some pieces of this side that do not work. As well as I would think it to be work. Anyway, so we. I think I'm going to leave that in. Uh, cheap ass Auburn apartment. Power goes out in the middle of video. I think that's a good detail. Anyway, so we did uh, We did our thing here with the end zones. Uh, I just, I don't know, checkerboard just feels like something that I would hate to see in real life for end zones. So 
that's why I threw that in there. And some of this stuff I kind of just skimmed over, but uh, we have kind of a little little bit of acid in here where we have the little 20s little green double line here. And then in the middle we have a, a gold. So nothing crazy with that. Oh, we have these benches that uh, look a little bit weird, obviously. And finally, Officer Playbook, it doesn't show it, but I picked, I think my Wi-Fi is still out, so that's probably why. Um, for Officer Playbook, I picked Arizona as my default because that's like the one I thought I got gas the most. I was like, let's just, let's just go wherever people are going. That's Google Home. Um, so that's our Officer Playbook. Defensive playbook went up at a 425, which feels like if you're talent strapped, 425 is probably pretty simple. Like, you have a good four man front. Linebackers, I think, are where you kind of find the most mediocrity in, especially from what I've seen playing the game out. It's not amazing linebackers in some of these teams. And then five DBs, just because a lot of teams are throwing it up and down the, you know, the field. So that's why I went with that. Uh, presets, average Joes. So I actually didn't know this, but I believe. I believe this actually uh, is relevant because it depend it actually specifies the type of uh, player you get. <laughs> so, so that's why I think I got some people I got because of who I picked. Which I'm I'm glad you went that way because it's a lot of um, it's just buried. It's not like anything in particular. Like it's not an air raid team. It's not you know. I guess you would have picked cupcake. You wanted somebody that was simple. Which I thought about Cupcake, I didn't go with them, but I thought about it. Ground attack, you went like a beefy heavy team, which probably would have been as towards the receivers. I think your overall is also kind of precluded by this. Uh, this player has been our best player by a lot so far in reality in the game itself. Um, this also uh, Rachel Krill in the actual game. She's you can't name the people here, as you can see. They just have a default name. You have to actually pick the name inside of the game itself because the game has a NIL checker. So that's why none of these people have been named. It would have been a lot easier to do it on here, but fucking EA, of course. So this ended up being Rachel. I did not know it was going to be the best player on the team. I actually did not at all. But he's been basically that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything here. Um, and we named the stadium Boys Dorm. Again, kind of a, a reference close to home. So we're going to go ahead and in this part, I'm going to try to cut out or cut up some of the footage from the game and then throw it in here. Next.